in this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite passing concepts from the Gun Bunch formation in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would really encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to hit the subscribe button. And it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said in this video, we're going to be breaking down a money play from the Gun Bunch. This play is going to be really good against Cover 3, really good against Cover 2, and all that stuff as well. And what I like about this play and this concept is that it does a really good job against a lot of the ways that a lot of people are going to try to defend the Gun Bunch formation. It is a flood within a uh, deep post and kind of combines a couple different concepts uh, from this formation. Now, I have a full bunch offensive ebook. If you want to check that out, that is linked in the description. You can get all of my Madden guides by joining my Patreon membership uh, for just $10 a month. Unlocks everything over there. And uh, the cool part is you're going to get access to more than just the bunch. You're going to get access to literally everything. So if you want to check that out again, that link is in the description. But the play we're going to be taking a look at today is the play Smash Return. And this is a great play for regs as well. I'm in the Cincinnati Bengals playbook, but you could do this out of a lot of different formations. What we want to do is we want to put Marquez Valdez Scantling in at the middle receiver. You could put Cobb or you could put uh, Lazard on the outside. And then we've got what we want primarily is we want Devonte Adams on the solo receiver side of the formation and the setup is actually really simple all we're going to do is we're going to post Devonte adams now typically you'll smart route this post if you want it to be a little bit better against man coverage and then we're going to out route the running back and we're going to slant marquez Valdez scantling so you see this is exactly what the setup looks like and this corner route to the to the tight end they're gonna have to really kind of have a unique defense to cover that um, as you can see right there um, it's going to get over the top of that purple. I just threw that, I guess, a little bit too early. Let me show you that again. So this is cover four drop. We're just going to run through some of the basic coverages you'll see. So again, you just kind of wait, get it on the sideline. He's actually playing that fairly well. Let me throw it one more time. Um, but anyways, I think it's because I didn't press. Typically against cover four drop, you're going to get a press. But anyways, you'll see here. There it is. That's what we're looking for. So you see how you can kind of throw that on the sideline. Now, this is also really good against cover three. So if they run cover three, the other thing you might notice is that if they're running zone drops like 30 yard clouds, this is actually gonna get underneath of the 30 yard cloud. So you see how the cover three sucks inside and that corner route is wide open. Again, this is a corner route that is going to go about 20 yards down the field. Uh, I think the personally the best coverage for this is actually going to be uh, cover two, which we're going to come back to in just a second. But this is a cover three with cloud flats. Notice the cloud flats do a decent job, as you can see. And that's probably the best base coverage zone that you can use, which is why a lot of people that cover this play or if they run up against this play, they're going to run some cover two. So if your opponent runs cover two, you actually have this skinny post over the top that is going to be really good for cover two. So if they run cover two, you'll see right here that this skinny post will absolutely shred the cover two. And a lot of times it'll be a one play score. So we have a really good option against cover three, really good option against cover four, really good option against cover two. Now, what about man coverage? A lot of people are struggling with man coverage right now. Um, you know, so how can I beat man coverage, especially if they like purple the safety, you know, they shade underneath. This is actually a fairly decent man beater as well. And the reason is because of this route to Lazard, this route to Scantling, this the, pretty much every route beats man, but especially this little, um, this little zig in route to Lazard is really good against man. If you're really struggling, like if they're pressing in, out of their man coverage a lot, I'll show you something else you can do with this. Um, so let's say that they're really, I mean, you know, they're pressing you. They're really coming up and trying to play some really solid man to man. What you can do with Lazard is just give him a little motion snap to get him off the jam. And now what you'll see here is not only is your skinny post wide open, but you saw Lazard is running wide open under the middle of this route combo. So this is really good against those coverages. And then the slant flat concept on this left side is actually super underrated in this play. And I'll show you that against, I'll just do some cloud flats. So basically it's a high low between the running back and Scantling here. 
So you'll see here, if they're in clouds, I can hit the running back really easily and get about five to 10 yards. I wanna say real quickly while you're watching this video, offense this year is really easy. It's even easier if you take your table route. So if they're gonna give you the table route, you have to take the table route or the, not the table route, but the uh, out route. And then if they're playing hard flies to take that away, you see that you have this slant that's gonna attack about 20 yards down the field on that side. Last thing that I wanna show you with this money play here is how it works specifically against the meta Mabel coverage. So let's say that they're running a 5, 25, and five Mabel. This is kind of the more pop, one of the more popular ways that people are going to run a Mabel coverage. And so the defense will basically look kind of like this. Now I'm gonna show you one secret against cover three here at the end of the video, so hang around, but I, I wanna show you this uh, corner route. So this corner route to Vada Scantling, you'll see a lot of times you can actually throw this against a zone drop. And the reason why is because a lot of times the zone drops are gonna be dropped at 25 or 30 yards, and that route is gonna get just underneath the zone drop. It's one of the real beauties of this corner route. And it's one of the real beauties of the gun bunch, honestly, is that they have all these different routes that require different zone drops to be able to defend at a high level. The other thing that I wanna show you with the zone drops is that the slant is really good against those zone drops. As you can see right there, you can throw it. It's gonna be about a 15 yard slant route that's going to get wide open against a double Mabel. So you have really good reads against double Mabel. And then lastly, let's say they actually are able to take everything away in terms of that. Then that's where your little dig route to Lazard, your little return route, is gonna be really good. You're gonna see here that he's gonna kinda of get in a weird little space on the zones. And a lot of times you can kinda of pass lead or, or playmaker him wide open. Now the last thing that I wanna show is I talked about how this route is really good against cover two, um, but it's also really, really good against cover three or cover three clouds. So in this example here, this is a double Mabel max coverage defense. And what you're gonna see is because we're running our bunch on the right hash, um, so you want to run this setup to the short side if you can help it. Um, you'll notice that this is really, really good once he crosses the face of the of the guy. So the tight end corner is going to suck down the outside third on the bunch side, leaving that post wide open on the back side. So this is an, another example of this. This is more of a basic cover three coverage. And so again, all you're going to do is just wait for this post to cross the face of the safety. So right there, pass lead outside, and you see how this can become a really good money play against cover three. Now, I will say that cover four drop, in my opinion, defends this the best. So let's say for example, and this is an interesting concept, but let's say for example that they take this safety on the bunch side and they put him in an inside quarter. And then they have a deep half here, kind of like a cover six, if you will. To me, this is the best way to defend this concept from the bomb perspective. Um, so what you'll see with this is this inside quarter, a lot of times will do pretty decent. If you wait, you can kind of get it over the top, but it's really not, it's really not. You're gonna have to ag it. So, you know, that's kind of the, the, the best adjustment that they can do. There's some other things that we can do in our bunch offense to kind of combat that but that is kind of the key adjustment to slow down um, just to slow down the bomb portion of the video but everything else all the flooding concepts still apply at a really high level with bunch and so again i'll show you one more time you have your corner you have your slant you have your dig route if everything breaks down throw that all the zones will be cleared out and you see how good of a route that is so this is one of the best plays in Madden this year. It's been one of the best plays in Madden ever since it's been put into the game. So I'd really encourage you to mess around with this if you like to run the bunch formation. If you wanna learn more about my bunch offense, I'm gonna put a link in the description to my Patreon. We're actually gonna be updating our bunch guide um, soon with some really in-depth concepts, long-term, long-standing bunch concepts that work year in and year out as we prepare for Madden 23. So if you wanna check all of that content out, the Patreon gets you everything. So you get all 24 Madden guides, you also get all of our weekly pro tips and meta updates, kind of keep you on top of the competitive community. And in addition to that, you're also going to get, like I said, any updates to our eBooks while your membership is active. So if you want to subscribe to that, it's only $10 to sign up. There's a link in the description. If you want to sign up, head on down to the description, check out the link below and uh, go check out that membership. Thanks for watching the video, guys.